And there you go. All the buttons are put in place, and we're ready for the next one. Okay, so the next step after getting all your buttons on, your plexi, and your art, you want to put your dust washer on. Now, depending if you're using the other one, the default one, which is right here, looks like this, or if you're using a customized one like I did, um, Arthur did it from Tech Innovations, it looks fantastic. Go ahead and put that one on. And then take your ball top and your flathead screwdriver. You want to go ahead and do the same process you did before. Simply put the screwdriver in that open little slit on the back of the joystick and then very carefully just screw on the ball top. Go ahead and make sure that this is on tight enough. Seems good. <clears throat> so here we are. Everything's all set and we're ready to reassemble the joystick. Okay, so once you got everything set, it's time to reassemble the buttons with the wires. Now just take out that piece of paper or if you remember, that's very good. Uh, we have eight sets of wires here that need to be hooked up to the buttons. So basically look up at which one goes to which and reassemble it. So the black pair of wires goes to the A button, which is right here. So that would go to A. <clears throat> and there we go. All set. So once everything is done, you can go ahead and screw everything back in using your Allen wrench. finish the job. There you have it. Your very own custom tournament edition Mad Cat's Fight Stick. Let's see if this baby works. Okay folks, um, since there's no other easy way to do this, all I can do is show you. Here it is, the fight stick right here, and the wire is wired directly right here to my 360 right there okay so let's just test out everything make sure everything works Everything seems to be working good. Just so you know, I suck with Ken. I just picked him at random. Cool. Looks like it works. So, after you finish putting your fight sticks together, you can choose to paint either the outside rim here, if it's white, or the outer barrier here. Okay, so, what I've done here is I've removed the uh, outer edge, right here, of the Xbox fight stick, and I've gone ahead and blue taped the whole area of the PS3 fight stick. And um, what I did was I put a piece of cardboard over the open area just in case you know you don't want to risk having any uh, paint inside the circuits so let's go ahead and paint these suckers so it is a nice bright and sunny day and uh, I'm outside my backyard I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint this thing <laughs> 